In this video, we'll share the top 25 things to do in Alberta. At number one, we have Explore Cave and Basin. Discovered by railway workers in 1883, Cave and Basin marks the inception of Canada's national park system. Initially, to attract visitors to Banff, the first national park was opened, and people came in droves to relax in the hot springs. Today, it stands as a national historic site, and swimming is prohibited to protect the endangered snails that inhabit the pool. At number two, we have the Banff Gondola. The Banff Gondola gondola offers breathtaking views of snow-capped peaks and the quaint village of Banff. If skiing or snowboarding isn't on your agenda, the gondola is a perfect way to ascend Sulphur Mountain. Named after the two sulfurous springs at its base, this mountain and its springs are what made Banff renowned. At number three, we have Moraine Lake. Located a stone's throw from Lake Louise within the Valley of the Ten Peaks, Moraine Lake is a sight to behold. Hiking trails lead to panoramic views of the Valley of the Ten Peaks. Interestingly, Moraine Lake once graced our $20 bill. Visit early during summer to avoid the crowds. At number four, we have the Glacier Skywalk. Alberta's recent attraction, the Glacier Skywalk, is a marvel. Visitors can walk on a glass floor suspended 280 meters above the sun to Valley. The view is breathtaking, and for those daring enough, the glass floor offers an exhilarating experience. At number five, we have Banff National Park. Banff National Park, Canada's first national park, is a year-round destination offering a plethora of outdoor activities. From hiking trails to ski resorts and glacier lakes, its beauty is unparalleled. The Banff Springs Hotel, opened in 1888, continues to attract tourists from around the globe. At number six, we have Canoe Lake Louise. Lake Louise, Alberta's most renowned tourist attraction offers a mesmerizing view of the Victoria Glacier and surrounding mountains reflected in its turquoise waters. A quintessential Canadian experience here is renting a canoe, especially during the summer, to absorb the scenic beauty. At number seven, we have pond hockey on Lake Louise. Nothing screams Canadian more than playing pond hockey on a frozen lake. As temperatures plummet, Lake Louise transforms into the world's most picturesque skating rink. Situated in front of the Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise, the rink attracts global visitors, skaters or not. At number eight, we have Lake Agnes. The Lake Agnes Tea House, operational since 1905, was initially built by the Canadian Pacific Railway as a resting spot for hikers. Starting on a paved path, the trail soon ventures into the rugged forest. The hike, spanning 4.5 miles, commences from the parking lot of Chateau Lake Louise. At number nine, we have Backcountry Lodges. Alberta boasts several backcountry lodges offering a blend of adventure and luxury. Surrounded by snow -capped peaks, these lodges can be accessed by cross-country skiing or snowshoeing during winter and hiking or horseback during summer. At number 10, we have the Banff Hot Springs. The Banff Upper Hot Springs are globally celebrated for their natural springs and magnificent views. These springs have shifted from their original location at Cave and Basin to the Upper Banff Springs, offering a therapeutic experience to visitors. At number 11, we have Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel. The Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel, one of Canada's most historic hotels is a must visit. Even if you're not a guest, you can indulge in high tea, explore the luxurious resort, or dine in style. At number 12, we have Lake Minnewanka Cruise. Lake Minnewanka is a favorite spot in Banff for hiking, night photography, and scenic cruises. The cruise offers a unique perspective on Banff's history and mesmerizing views. At number 13, we have Banff Town. Nestled in the heart of Banff National Park, the town of Banff is an ideal base for exploration. With a plethora of eateries, distilleries, and accommodations, it's a haven for tourists. At number 14, we have Johnston Canyon. Open year-round, Johnston Canyon is a spectacle regardless of the season. Winter transforms the waterfalls into frozen wonders, while summer offers lush views of the high canyon walls. At number 15, we have the Icefields Parkway. Connecting Banff and Jasper National Parks, the Icefields Parkway is hailed as one of the world's most scenic drives. Surrounded by the Rockies, it offers numerous lookouts and attractions. At number 16, we have Reflections of Bow Lake. Bow Lake offers some of the most captivating reflections. Located at Num Tija Lodge, it's one of the initial stops on the Icefields Parkway when driving from Banff National Park. At number 17, we have Athabasca Glacier and Columbia Icefield. The Columbia Icefield, North America's largest ice sheet, houses the Athabasca Glacier. Visitors can embark on a tour to marvel at this colossal glacier and even drive on a specialized vehicle to observe the crevasses up close. At number 18, we have Jasper National Park. At the end of the Icefields Parkway lies the magnificent Jasper.
Casper National Park. Renowned for its dark sky festival and breathtaking mountain views, it's a must visit. At number 19, we have Hike Maline Canyon. Maline Canyon is a top recommendation in Jasper National Park. With waterfalls, bridges, and scenic views, it's an unforgettable experience. At number 20, we have Maline Lake. Further down the road lies Maline Lake, the longest lake in the Canadian Rockies. Visitors can embark on a boat cruise to Spirit Island or explore the surrounding hiking trail. At number 21, we have Pyramid Lake. While Maline Lake is popular, Pyramid Lake offers unparalleled beauty. The reflections of the pyramid-shaped mountain in the calm waters explain its name. At number 22, we have Fairmont Jasper Park Lodge. The Fairmont Jasper Park Lodge is an attraction in itself. Set on the shores of Lac Beauvert, it offers a blend of luxury and nature, with wildlife sightings being common. At number 23, we have Jasper Sky Tram. The Jasper Sky Tram is the highest and longest tramway in Canada. It offers panoramic views of Jasper National Park, making it a favorite among tourists. At number 24, we have Jasper Dark Sky Festival. Jasper National Park is a designated dark sky preserve. The annual Jasper Dark Sky Festival celebrates this, attracting stargazers and astronomers from around the world. At number 25, we have Jasper Town, Jasper Town, smaller than Banff, offers a more intimate experience. With fewer crowds, it's a perfect base for exploring the surrounding national park. So that sums up my top 20 25 things to do in Alberta. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.